Beyonce told me we'll likely have an open relationship. After five to ten years, I canceled the wedding. Now I'm looked at as the villain. So, everybody hates Chris now. My ex-fiance tells me that in five to ten years of us being married, I'm going to want to smash other women, and she's sure she'll get sick of my seven inches by then. Yea, my ex said those exact words to me. I felt so small. I wanted to curl up into a ball and cry. Uh, no, seriously, my manhood was shot. At that point, I didn't want to marry her anymore. I decided to look through her phone that night. I didn't tell her the wedding was off. Instead, I went to bed, and when I went back into the living room a couple hours later, my ex-fiance, Kelly, was on Facebook video with some guy named David. I snatched the phone and asked him who the F he was, and he told me that he was Kelly's longtime friend. I ended the call, locked myself in the room, and went through her phone. Dave and Kelly clearly had a sexual relationship, and Kelly was getting it in with other men as well. I was done with this woman. Before this night, I never thought she'd cheat on me or else I would have never asked her to marry me. She stopped knocking on the door and told me she didn't care what I found out. I opened the door, gave her back her phone, and told her the wedding was off. Kelly had the nerve to tell me that I was overreacting. I'm taking this too far and it's not that serious. I told her what's not serious about you telling me that we should have an open relationship. What's not serious about me discovering that you're sleeping with another man? And don't you dare lie to me because I saw the messages between you two. You guys are having sex. What about the other guys I saw in the text thread that I didn't know about? How is this David guy a longtime friend and I've never even heard of him? How is this not serious? We're done. I'm moving out. I'm so glad I didn't sign that new lease with you. Have a nice life. I'll be back to get my stuff. She started begging me to stay and then asked where I was going to go so late at night. I didn't care where I was going to go. I slept in my car that night. I stayed in the hotel the next night. And then that's when I called my cousin and some other family members and told them what was going down. And I told them that I canceled the wedding. So everyone from my side of the family to Kelly's side of the family all were excited about us getting married. Everyone just loves each other. We all had group parties with my family and her family together. I can't believe she's always felt this way about me. And she was always cheating on me. But anyway, I called some of my family members. Both of my sisters made me explain why I was canceling the wedding. You know what they told me? They told me I was canceling a wedding over something so stupid. I even told them everything as far as she's saying that I only had seven inches, as if that was a problem. My sister said that's more than average. She was just pointing that out, Chris. It's not a big deal. Why are you dumping her over this? And they try to make it as if that's why I was dumping her. And they kept telling me I was just offended by that member comment. I told them no. I found out that she was cheating on me. Forget about the open marriage thing that she was suggesting we do, even though that's a deal breaker too. But she's physically been sleeping with another man, at least emotionally cheating with the second man. My sister told me I was silly and said that Kelly would never do something like that. She's not that type of girl, so Kelly and my sisters are also best friends. They've known her forever. I've always known about Kelly growing up too, but we didn't get together until later. Kelly's four years older than me. My own blood sisters took the side of my ex-fiance. I didn't bother calling my parents that night, but I called a couple of my cousins, and my female cousins said the same thing. I ended up moving in with the cousin, a guy cousin who was on my side, but it seemed like everybody else was against me. The worst was finding out that my parents thought I was crazy for calling off this wedding because so much money has been put into it. Both my parents paid majority of the wedding. I didn't care. I told my parents that I'm not marrying Kelly. I didn't like the disrespect, so to be completely candid with everybody. Kelly had a smart mouth. She always gets sassy with me a lot. I learned to just deal with it and ignore it because 
Every time she kind of got sassy with me, she'd later apologize. I want to have sex and tell me, well, you know how I am. I get a little aggravated, but please just work with me and give me time. She say stuff like that all the time, but she just never changed over the years. I was done with her. I was able to put up with the smart for Alec remarks here and there, but cheating on me and then telling me we're going to have an open relationship and our marriage, that was enough for me to leave. I talked to my parents about this and told them that I don't want an open marriage and I tried to explain to them that she cheated on me. I had proof, but no one seemed to care. My mom even said, show me the proof. I want to see it. I couldn't just go into her Facebook somehow, take her phone, and show my mom. I never knew her passcode, so I was lucky enough to get in the phone when I did. The anger and betrayal I felt coming from everywhere just destroyed me, temporarily. I got it together and stood strong. First, I stood on business with Kelly. Kelly was relentless. She told me I'd lost my mind for canceling our wedding. I copied the text thread we had before I blocked Kelly. Kelly. You have completely lost your mind. You're really canceling my wedding? Why are you telling everyone that we broke up? This is embarrassing. Me. Your wedding? I guess I never mattered, huh? Makes sense. Kelly, of course you matter. Idiot. You're in the wedding too. What are you talking about? Get your head out of your ash and get back home now. Me. Fudge you, you stupid stank breath bish. You have the worst morning breathe ever. I've never encountered on a human being. You're so damn cocky and self-centered. I'd tell you that for years, and you'd still go to bed without brushing your teeth. I'm so glad I never have to deal with that again. Kelly, I'm calling my brothers and they're going to fudge you up. That's when I blocked her. Next, I had a phone call with my dad. My dad told me about bullcrap, about how he forgave my mom for cheating early in the marriage. Dad claimed that his love for my mom was stronger than the anger he had for my mom. And even though she emotionally cheated on him again, it was worth staying. I told my dad on the phone that he was dumb for staying with mom after she cheated on him. I asked dad if he was sure that we were his children. My dad lost it. He's not the type to ever get angry, my dad said. Listen here, you spoiled brat. I've had enough of your attitude. Get it together, or you can forget about me, ever doing a single thing for you, and I mean it. I will gladly take you out of my will and leave everything to your sisters. Do you copy, boy? Me. Fudge you and your money. I'm not your son anymore, and I blocked Dad. Next was brunch with my mom and two sisters. Kelly's mom was also there, too. I told them I'd only come and hear them out if they pay for the food. They agreed immediately before we were even seated. My oldest sister starts telling me how selfish I was and even started crying saying I stole Kelly's special day away from her. My mom and Kelly's mom consoled her and got her calmed down. My sister was hyperventilating and everything. We sat outside so she could get some air and we ordered our food. Once food was ordered here, goes my mom. You know Kelly is really heartbroken. She really wanted to marry you. She loves you. You can't let little things like a little white lie or something make you run away from someone you claim to love. Now if you didn't love Kelly's son, just say that. Don't lie and make excuses. If you're afraid of getting married, I understand you're young, but I promise you it's the best thing for you. I told my mom that it was not a white lie. Kelly literally allowed another man to put his PP inside of her. Kelly and David talked about it in great description. Mother, I'm so sorry that I can't show you the actual message thread between them proving that she's done this or even the other guys that she was talking to and possibly cheating with as well. I'm sorry that Kelly won't admit to you guys that she told me that we are going to have an open marriage because, well, my size just wasn't good enough for her. Kelly's mother then chimed in and said, my daughter would never. You really need to stop spreading lies. These lies about my daughter. Then Kelly's mom looked at my mom and told her that she needs to learn to control her child. 
referring to me. Surprisingly, my mom backed down and apologized to Kelly's mom. I couldn't understand this. My mom apologized. I've never seen her do that. My mom was the mom that went to school and got in my teacher's face when she grabbed me the wrong way or she yelled at me or I didn't like how she yelled at me. My mom was up there the next day. See, my mom was always a stay-at-home mom. My dad worked and he made great money so she didn't have to work, but she was not taking crap from waitress, hostess, person at the grocery store. My mom was always ready to fight. We've always known that about her, but to see her back down to Kelly's mom like that, I honestly just could not understand it. My mom didn't tell me that I should at least think about it. I don't have that much time, but I need to think quickly. Think about what I'm giving up. You know how hard it is to find a wife's son? A good, loyal woman. A loyal woman, I know she is. Whatever mistake she made, I know she'll never do it again. I said, oh, like the time you cheated on dad, begged for his forgiveness, and he did forgive you only for you to emotionally cheat on him again. My mom says, who in the world told you that? That is not true. Why would you make up things? What is going on with you? Why are you spreading lies about everyone? I told my mom that dad just told me this not too long ago. He told me you cheated on him and he forgave you and then you cheated on him again emotionally and he still forgave you and he told me I should do the same thing because maybe I'll end up like him, a simp, if I stay with Kelly. I added the simp part, obviously. My dad didn't say that. My other sister, who was actually closer to Kelly growing up, told me that I need Jesus in my life for me to be lying like this. Something is wrong with me. Just making up things about my mom and about my fiance that I claimed that I loved. She looked at my mom, said we need to get his head checked. The food came and I scarfed it down, drank my mimosa, and I scooted on out of there. My mom stopped me and asked me to sign a document stating that I'll marry Kelly. I said, what the F is wrong with you people? She cheated on me. I'm not marrying her. Thanks for brunch, and I left. I wasn't allowing anyone to manipulate me. I was done. I didn't need anyone. I eventually got an apartment, and things were quiet for about two months. Then Kelly shows up at my door, so when I saw it was her. I immediately knew who told her where I lived. My sister. She actually came over and told me she believed me. Her telling me this via text made me comfortable. She promised she wouldn't tell Kelly where I lived, but she lied. But when my sister came over, she hugged me and apologized. She told me she wasn't only apologizing for trying to make me marry Kelly, but she knew that Kelly was cheating on me. My sister begged for my forgiveness and told me that she knows that Kelly loves me, and just because she cheats on me doesn't mean she's not in love with me. She told me she knew that Kelly loved me. She saw Kelly with other guys before and the way she talks about me. It was just different, but Kelly just felt like she needed something else sexually. She was going to safely have someone else on the side but still be a wife to you. That's okay to do that. But I do understand why a man would not want to be in that position. So I'm here to apologize to you, little brother. I really hope you can forgive me. I told my sister I don't know if I could forgive her, but I do appreciate her telling me this. I excused her and let her go, and that was that. Not too long after Kelly came knocking on my door. Kelly was trying one last time to get me to reconcile. I denied her. She asked if she can come in. I allowed her to come into my apartment. She just started yapping, man. I promise you my brain blanked out. I just stopped listening. I hear things like how she was so sorry for doing me that way and said no other guy compares to me. I'm the best thing to ever happen to her, and she knows she'll never marry another man. If it's not me, then she'll just be single. I told Kelly it was fun while it lasted, but I have zero desire to get back with her. There's no point. Love is gone. Trust is gone. Respect is gone. All those things are important in the marriage. I don't want to marry you. I'm okay if I never marry ever in my life. I'm not losing out. Her exact words to me were, Well, if you aren't going to marry me, then I guess I'll marry myself. 
Kelly, with that snarky attitude, turned around and stormed out of my apartment, and she slammed my door so hard that a picture fell off the wall and broke. I was ticked off, but at the same time, I was happy she was gone, and I knew this is going to be the last time I saw her because she could tell I was serious about never getting back with her again. I actually never blocked Kelly on everything. We were actually still friends on Facebook. She just never posted much until one, one Saturday. I couldn't believe what I read. Kelly is live now. My wedding day is here. I said no way. She found someone else to marry. She's going to marry the David guy. Tuned in. And I watched it, guys. I am not making this up. Kelly live-streamed the ceremony of her marrying herself on her Facebook page. My parents and my sisters were there in attendance. I sat and watched this bullcrap. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Kelly married herself. What a fudging narcissistic person. Dennis Rodman did that. My dad showed me a video of it when I was a teenager. I grew up watching all of the Bulls highlights and Dennis Rodman was my favorite. When my dad told me he'd married himself to promote his book, I didn't believe it and he showed me. Kelly did this same thing and everyone attended. So, freaking weird. I don't have any intention on running back to my family. They chose a cheater and liar over me, so I'll just move on with my life. I'm just fine without them. I still have my career, and I'm doing just fine without them. Dude, what in the world? Why are your parents on their side? Everybody's against you. <laughs> what what is going on here? Why do they want you to marry her so bad? Look, dude, I'm glad you didn't marry her. I'm glad from your words you stood on business. Salute to you for doing that. Everybody's telling you you need to get with her. You're being silly. Oh, it was a stupid Dude, she cheated on me. What are you guys not hearing here? It's like everybody's ignoring you. Oh, don't worry about it. And then your, your dad. Mm -hmm. Well, son, I forgave your mother. She cheated on me and I said, I love you more than I hate you. So I'm going to stay with you. And then what? She cheated again. I don't care if it was emotional. Look, your dad caught her and he thought it was emotional. No, she continued to get her back broken. Your mother has always cheated on her, on your father, on her husband. She knows it. He knows it. I don't know why he puts up with it. He's a stay at home mom and he just takes care of her. <laughs> I can't believe you asked your dad that. Are we even your kids, Dad? Do you know this? Probably not. Somebody's probably not his. At least one, I'm willing to bet. That's ridiculous, man. Guys, if you want to send in the story, send it to True Story Nation at gmail.com. Here I'll put it on the screen. That's True Story Nation at gmail.com. I'm going to catch you guys at the next one.